Hey, what's going on YouTube? How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Daniel here. In this video, I want to share with you a very quick video and the title is going to be how to get paid for sharing your knowledge online. Now, you know, if you've been here for any amount of time on this channel, I talk about how to monetize your knowledge, how to make money online by sharing what you know through digital products. And this video is just to take you step by step on how to do that, even if you're just getting started, even if you have no experience in the past. Now, let's get right into it. First of all, I want to tell you about the facts. What do we currently know? What are the facts currently right now in the online knowledge education space? Now, the fact is that the global online education market was valued at over $30.6 billion in 2021, and it is expected to reach $198 million $198 billion by 2020. And what does that truly mean? It means that traditional education is dead. People are now making way more money by simply uh, going online and teaching what they know and sending their products than they would ever make if they went to a four-year college and getting a degree and going to school and doing it the old and traditional way. So right now, if you know something, if you can get at it, if you can share your knowledge online, there's a very high chance that one, you will not be in debt, meaning college debt that people take to go to college you will not be able to do that you will stay debt free you will be able to monetize your knowledge you'll be able to sell data products and be able to choose your time the time to work meaning you're gonna be you will be able to ignore the traditional way of working which is you know, so wake up in the morning go to your nine to five commute two hours every single day all of that is not going to be the same so traditional education is dead traditional uh, jobs are also dying as people are you know getting more aware of you know the online education space knowing that if you can just share what you know online then you can change your fortune and the fortune of your family as well so how do you truly get into this as so how do you truly start sharing your knowledge online and start making some money of it? So step one, I have four steps here, but we're going to start with step one. Step one, share what you know. If you know a lot about any subject, teach it online. Now, what you want to do is to pick a platform that is very comfortable for you. That could be YouTube if you love videos, you love making videos. And it could be Twitter if you enjoy writing. That is where a lot of digital entrepreneurs are being born right now. And the thing about these platforms is that you don't necessarily have to have a lot of uh, upfront startup capital. You can start with barely nothing. Right now, I'm recording this video with my iPhone camera recording my computer screen. If you watch my channel, I do all this elaborate setups where I use my camera and everything looks good, but I don't have the space right now, but it's still not going to stop me from doing that. So you want to find a platform that works for you, you want to start making videos, so you want to start writing online if that is what you enjoy. Now, for example, we're going to take Mary's Nest. Now, Mary's Nest is this YouTube channel that teaches to cook traditionally. Mary's Nest started about four years ago, and they have been able to grow to almost one million subscribers, making multiple six figures a year. As you can see on my screen, this is Mary's Nets YouTube channel. She started about four years ago, like I said, and she's been able to grow to over 1 million. She made an interview on the Think Media podcast. I'm going to leave it down in the description. If you want to check it out, go check out the interview that she did with Think Media podcast, where she shared all the story, a journey, how she started very scrappy. She didn't have a lot of the resources that she has right now. And even at you know, multiple six figures a year, our setup is still very basic. She doesn't have to complicate anything. For me, I started by teaching simple ways of making money online and how to, you know, make money from your, your side also if you have right now I and it got to a point where I was putting out so much content and it was only a matter of time until something hit for me and it finally did. I got a viral video on TikTok which had over 1.2 million views in less than a week and I haven't looked back since. I quit my 9 to 5 job in 2021, in the January 1st of 2021 and I've lived in four countries over the last two years as a data nomad. So that is the possibility that you can get when you start sharing your story, when you start sharing your journey 
online. Now, step two, you want to go narrow rather than wide. A lot of people go into this content creation journey or sharing your stuff online, you know, thinking that you can just share whatever you want. You can share your meal. You can share what you're doing. You can share your travels or whatever mundane task you are carrying out throughout the day and someone is just going to tune in. But unless you already have an active following, an engaged following, or you're a celebrity outside of this online space, nobody wants to know about what you had last night. Nobody wants to know, you know what you're cooking for dinner. Nobody cares about that. You need to be able to answer questions for people. You need, you need to be able to uh, give them information. You need to be able to entertain them or educate them in a way. People go on YouTube to either get educated, entertained, or informed. If you're not doing one of these three things, then you are missing the mark. So you want to pick one general topic and you want to go as deep and narrow as possible. I say here that don't try to speak to everyone, rather identify a problem and then solve that problem for people. When you look at the overall theme of this channel, the overall theme is to help people make money from selling digital products. Now I can go deep into different things, how to set up landing pages, how to you know, connect domain names, how to do this and that. But the overall theme, the overarching theme is how to help people monetize their knowledge online and how to make money online monetizing the products using the knowledge that they already have now consider this i teach people how to start an online business that is an overarching theme that you want to talk about now consider this instead i teach people age 50 plus how to make extra money by sev by selling travel packages now this is a real life example of someone inside of my membership you know program some membership community who we help narrow down their offer and who they want to be speaking to this was their original idea they want to teach people how to start online businesses but we were able to narrow it down to teaching people over the age of 50 how to make extra money by selling travel packages by helping them start businesses now you can see how vastly these two you know subjects are one is very direct they know exactly what they're talking to they know exactly what they want to be teaching them and people who are looking for this type of information know exactly where to go so there's no confusion whatsoever now step three you want to start introducing help for resources. So at this point, you want to you know start putting out content. You're already getting some feedback. Your audience needs help with something. That is the only reason why they're watching your content. You want to give them a help resource. Now, a help resource is also called a lead magnet, and it does three things for your audience. One, it establishes you as the expert. Two, it creates a bond between you and your audience because they're getting something for free that is of value. And three, it builds your email list, which is the most important of all these three things. You want to establish yourself as the expert. Imagine writing an ebook or writing a physical book. It automatically establishes you as the expert. It creates a bond because people are getting something from you. They always you know, feel that need to want to give back to you, sort of like you know, as a friend or someone who has been helpful to them. And it builds your email list. Now, your email list is going to be your biggest asset. I talked about this in previous videos. I'll leave you know, links down in the cards. Check out my previous videos now to build your email list, now to monetize your email list. Now, step four, you want to offer a service. As you go on in your online journey, the easiest way, the fastest way to make money would be to offer something as a service. Hopefully by now your content has been helpful and you're building a platform of raving fans. Your expertise is beginning to show and you're solidifying yourself as the go-to person in that niche. You want to identify areas where your audience needs help. Now watch out for feedback when you start putting out content. People are going to ask you questions. Watch out for feedback. Watch out for recurring questions. And those are the questions that you want to answer in your service. Do people need help? You know, with building landing pages, with businesses funnels, with writing copy, with doing graphics design. If that is something you're teaching, you want to offer this as a service first. What that does is it enables you to get in close contact with your audience and know exactly what are the bigger problems that you can solve. Now, you're going to make money and hopefully some you know, do some good along the way. This is also what happens when you offer something. People are ready to pay you money. There's so much money out there. You just need to be willing to ask for it and give it something of value in return. So when you're just starting out, whether that's in your YouTube videos, in your Twitter audience, don't be afraid to offer a service to your audience. Add a simple landing page. Uh, put something out there. It took me a while before I understood this, but once I did, I never went back. So to recap what we're talking about here one you want to 
share with you know pick a platform start writing start putting out content if you do this for at least six months i can guarantee that your life is going to change now you want to go narrow rather than wide at the beginning nobody cares if you ate uh you know burger last night if you uh, went to the park people want to get educated entertained or informed you want to introduce helpful content help your audience solve a problem by giving them a helpful content it could be an ebook a free video course something that helps them solve a problem this helps you establish yourself as the expert create a bond between your audience and build your email list now you want to offer a service which is the easiest way to make money when you're just getting started when i started this channel the first offer service i offered was to help people build landing pages and even though i don't offer that right now it gave me you know those quick wins and i was able to make money fast is is if this video has been helpful consider subscribing and if you have any questions check out put it in the comment section down below check out my detailed mastery online mem membership community we are having a lot of alpha discussions in there i will guide you personally on how to create an offer and how to narrow down your audience and how to start generating leads now to start making content online so you can get seen by the people who need your content again my name is daniel and i will see you in the next video take care now